It was an intermittent? Yeah. It works for a while then. So it's a slow drainer. Where does it drain to? Drains. Oh, wait a minute. No. Drains in the crawl space. Uh, not just yet. Okay. okay. So it's. I'm pretty sure that E110 is. Abnormal air pressure. Oh. Oh. Is the intake plugged? I, th I thought that was. I thought that was a drain. Oh. I couldn't remember. Uh, you only you only got like 20, 30, 20 different codes to remember on these things. Yeah. Right. Different styles. And, yeah. It. Let me get this cleaned up. Clean that trap out too. Got that. Ooh, that's hot. Hot baby hot. Oh, get back up there. Oh no. Totally lost it in the back. Again. Oh, get that out. Of here. Give me, give me that yeah, out. I'm right at the top of the heat exchanger. Oh, right, right. Does that work or what? Oh, yeah. You want it? You want, I got a little stool. Just a short one. A little one for the if she's got there. If you need I, just, I just lost a screw. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, the screw right, right here. Where did I put it? Well, I mean, it'll prevent it from popping up codes. few different things while I'm here I just don't want to come in and right. yeah, you know and then you're calling me back in a week saying hey it's not working again Joe uh, right, right. so I'll just cover basic maintenance stuff here mm -hmm. let's see how long you been with them and with the, you know, dependable actually I'm gonna replace that igniter It's not, I'll, I'll show you a new one. The new oh. one is, is actually closer together right oh, there. Okay. So let me, let me go yep. snag the igniter really quick okay. out of the truck. You know, that, that would have been another service call right there. Mm -hmm. This is from, oh, I can't even see. I don't know when this is from. Uh, 
This is from 17. 17. This was before I even worked at Dependable. I'm not home. I'm going to take this. New. Let's get the old one off here. Got stuck talking on the phone. Oh, you come off of there. New one. Old one. A little, a little beat. Oh, you stay on there. Stay on there. Just you want to do, when it comes to these Navians, you want to do just basic. You know, when you're out, you want to do basic, basic maintenance. Don't get caught just coming in and fixing what you think is needs to, needs to be done. It's missing a clip there. Because so you'll get a call back really quick. Oops, oh, that's right. I don't like callbacks. There we go. Slide that on there. That's in, that's in. Pulled the combustion trap. That was dirty, filthy, nasty. I think this is his daughter's house. This isn't his house. Okay. Let's get her started up. Yeah, I got that. I got that igniter replaced. That that one was pretty. Yeah, so it's not a uh, not a, not it's a direct bendable. direct spark. Well, I, if you start bending them, uh huh, then it can break. They break. Yeah, it's like a little. Uh, yeah, they are pretty. Yeah. Not, yeah. So it yeah. normally would have been straight across from there, like a spark plug. Well, kind of deal. yeah. They're uh, they're usually. 
let's say like, like that. Oh, okay. And these are all crusty. That's bent. Yeah. You know, so it's. Yeah. Is that just over time? Common, been... common stuff. Yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. I mean, this was, I think, installed 17, 18, right around okay. there. All so, right. okay. I mean, so. changing, changing the igniter out. And, How have they been? Have these been pretty good? Oh, yeah. Units? Well, okay. as you can tell, you know, yeah, it's she, not, hasn't, she, she hasn't had any problems. Yeah, yeah. She, she really needs to have someone come out on mm -hmm. a yearly basis yeah. to do maintenance on right. it. Yeah. Every couple years, maybe. Uh, so I like to see it once a year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting a picture of the model serial number. So you change out that, clean out the two areas. That that's it. Oh, okay, that's pretty much the. Because yeah, that up there yep. is you know that filter up yeah. there. If it can't get air in, it's oh, gonna no, 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 no. it's no. gonna throw an abnormal pressure coat up, and yeah. it's exactly what it did. No, it also, uh, also if this if that gets plugged up too, it will also it'll also throw that code. Okay. Uh, the E one ten code. Right. You know, because so that there was stuff in there. So is that backed up? You're saying? A little yeah, bit? it could have been backed. That was in there. To, well, uh, usually, usually what happens is you get sediment buildup at the bottom, right. and then it prevents it from draining. Ah. So it'll throw the same code because it's not getting the right. You. It's not making the pressure switch right. in, in the units. It's yep. either saying it's got a plugged vent or a blocked intake or a clogged drain. So right. normal cool. stuff. Yeah. Well, that was kind of a simple one. Usually when you get that E110 code, it's either a drain or an intake. Um, obviously, you can see that the intake was plugged. Drain wasn't much better, and that igniter needed to be replaced. Uh, so we got everything done, up and running. You know, it, it's kind of, you know, you'll get E110s at, you know, it'll be intermittent. Say a command. It will, you know, say say if the condensate drains slow, um, especially when it gets cold outside, if that condensate drain is slow draining, it'll throw code. And then it'll work fine. Then I'll throw code, and then it'll work fine. But obviously, that person hasn't had maintenance done. And I told him, well, that was the father that was there. I told him, hey, you need to see me kind of once a year. So you don't run into these problems. It's just easier to do maintenance than it is to do a service call. So uh, that one was installed. 2017-2018 uh, we, we did that install I wasn't involved I wasn't even working for the company back at that point so it was alright install not terrible but uh, really really small house kind of oversized boiler um, but it modulates so it's fine um so that's it for this one. Uh, you guys know what you need to do. Hit up the GoFundMe, the Zell, the Venmo, the Amazon wish list for my son that's done with cancer. Just trying to dig out from the bills. Uh, anything helps. If you can't donate, watch videos. Give me some ad revenue. So I will see you on the next one.